somebody just put a big box outside my front door. I have no idea where it came from. No clue whatsoever. Must be somebody really nice, somebody really kind, a generous person. I just figured, well, maybe a few more orchids. And at first I wanted to buy some fertilizers. Then I saw this lovely, lovely Rinkoridus orchid. All of a sudden, of course, it popped up. So what to do? And you cannot buy just one orchid. So you have to buy a whole bunch of orchids. So it will, I mean, the de delivery cost will be worthwhile. So, so I just happened to buy myself 13 new orchids. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, let's get on to it. Let's get started. Let's see. Yeah, this is nice. Doesn't seem to work this time. Well, yeah, it does. So, 13 new orchids, but they're quite small. So don't worry. I will have room for them to accommodate them properly. Really young plants, a bunch of young plants. And the purchase is, of course, like so many times before, from Svarta. And I was a little bit tempted of uh, getting a few more Vendacious orchids. Vendacious types, not Vanda, proper Vandas, okay? Let's see. Uh, look here. <laughs> Yay! And the tag on the outside. So, it's that guy this time again. We packed this and, I mean, I ordered the orchids on Saturday and this time they shipped on Monday and now it's Wednesday. So, it took two days to deliver them to Sweden from Germany. They usually ship on Tuesdays and they will arrive on Fridays. But it was quite um, early. Whoops, early this time. So... Well, that's okay, of course. Uh, yeah, let's see here what we got. I got a new Tulumnia, Tulumnia Gyrate Flyer Red Spread. And this one was a really lovely one. Of course, a red one. They are um, flower size. The ones you buy for 9.90 euro, 9.95 perhaps. But they seem to be quite small, but they are flowering size, as I said before. They're well packed. And this one is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> yeah, as expected. I know this one is going to be a small one, so. A really small one, <laughs> even. But, um, yeah, no, not so small, not so bad. Yeah, it's lost growth here. It's quite heavy, tall. And let's see what happened. Why am I showing you this guy? Um, yeah, after three days on my stove. <laughs> this one is putting out a spike. So, as I told you, they arrived quite small. But there are meant to be blooming size, according to web shop. And there you have a living proof. You can see for yourself. They really are blooming size. Let's see here. What else? Um... What? It's not a tag on this one. Did I forget the tag, or is this, this is a bonus plant? I never got any bonus plants from uh, from them, so I figured this one isn't either. But yeah, maybe the tag is on the inside, or maybe yeah, the tag is on the inside. So yeah, it's not a bonus plant. I think it's only look yeah, that engage in such an funny activities such as bonus plants <laughs> yeah they're always nice for the buyer to get something for free but this one is yeah it's on a mount <laughs> and I would have wanted this one to be sitting in a <laughs> semi high row yeah and it's in growing stage as well Papillonanti Vendarum Vendarum its blooms looks like Vanda blooms, whitish, lovely ones. And uh, this one has got, I don't really remember, but I think one or two years to flowering size. So, but this one is um, it's about the same size as the one I got from curling last time. I got orchids, so, from curling. So, <laughs> I think it's a funny one, Vendacious type. 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it can stay on its mount here. If I remember to uh, spray it properly. It's such a good mount. Lovely mount, I think. Ah. But the other one, the one I already got, the Papillion Mount I got, um, is sitting in semi hydro and it really likes it. So, well, yeah. I will have to take this one into consideration and, yeah, give it some thought, I think, before I get it off, the, off this mount. Beautiful mount. Looks gorgeous. And let's see what else. There's going to be many orchids. 13, so. Um, okay. Oncidium, Siku, Marguerite, Chan, Su, Glory. Yes, box. I really, I didn't check before I opened up this box um, how long it's going to be for each and every one of them to reach blooming size. So uh, maybe this one had some time before it's able to bloom, but still. Um, or maybe this one um, was a, announced as a blooming size orchid, but I really don't remember. So I won't complain until I know the answer, you know. Uh, there's not much to complain about. I think this one is a lovely one. I think it's a small one. It's kind of a Oncidium twinkle type. So it's not going to be that much taller or larger, I think. I'm not sure. So, but it's a lovely, lovely one with pink blooms. Quite large blooms and in large clusters um, with a yellow center. I love Oncidium type orchids, I really do. Let's see what we got here. Uh, a handwritten tag for the first time from Swerta. Um, <laughs> it's a Cattleya I had a couple of years ago. Really, really, really difficult one. Cattleya Iricolor. I love the blooms on this one. Uh, it happened to be, uh, the one I had was quite a fussy one, um, a flimsy one. And it caught some rot and stuff, so I don't have it anymore, as you can hear. And this one is going to be a small one. It's going to be a seedling, but never mind. Maybe that's better for it to grow on nicely here and get adjusted to my environment as a seedling. And this one is, um, <laughs> well, it's a really small seedling, but its canes will grow quite tall and it's going to be a quite flimsy orchid when it's mature and this is going to be um, yeah a bit of a challenge for me to grow this one properly I think it's going to stay in a spark here yes I think it will let's see in my repot or not repot video but I just have to have this one it's the first time I have seen it in a web shop since my my old one died off yeah, so yeah, I just had to have it. It's worth another try. I got a, a Cattleya hybrid as well. Lovely Cattleya hybrid. Uh, RLC Pachara Fancy, it's called. And this one has got the loveliest lip I've seen in a long time and color combination. And if this one ever gives me a cluster of blooms. Uh, it will be a showstopper, as we say. So, and what do I see? The first thing I see, <laughs> some green root tips. Yeah, that seems promising. Promising start. So, yeah, it's a good kit layer. Good size and good condition. And it's in growing stage, as you saw. But it's, uh, of course, in a desperate need Oh, hey, repotting. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to have it like this <laughs> in a spot. But a couple of new growth is perfect. Yeah, I wonder if it's ever bloomed before. I cannot see any old sheath or bloom spikes, but um, it should be flowering size by now. So maybe um, it's sitting in this um, media that I really despise a lot. <laughs> It's coconut tusk fiber. Yeah, hmm, but it is in growing stage, so perhaps it can 
get adjusted in, yeah, if I choose to um, put it into semi-hydro. Uh, <laughs> yay, I really do have to do something about it. Cannot grow out of a spot like this. I cannot keep up the watering like this, so it's not going to be um, hydrated enough. So let's see what to do with it. And I'm glad I got it. Really happy I got it. I got quite a few left and um, yeah, this one is lovely. It's my now Papi Leonanti Terrace. Gorgeous blooms, gorgeous colors. And well, it's got some time to bloom inside, but still, but um, never mind that. I just happen to love them. I think they look nice and the one I got is growing on so nicely here. So when I saw them in the web shop, I just had to have a few more. Even though I know they had some time to bloom in size, but never mind that. They're not all that easy to uh, get hold of, so. And all this toilet paper everywhere. Ah, it's in growing stage. It's a lovely little orchid in growing stage. So this one is not going to stay in, um, I don't think it's going to stay in this box. I think this one is going to be transitioned. Yeah. It's quite cheap one, I guess. If I remember it right. So, it's okay. Vendacious Orchid. And the next one on display is... <laughs> a genus I always buy a lot of when I purchase from Swarta. Of course, I have to have a few Pephipedalums, of course. They have quite a good selection of um, Pephipedalums and they usually have quite good prices as well. But this time, this late season, yeah, the ones they have left are not blooming size. I think this one was one of the, yeah, the rare seldom sizes, yeah. <laughs> so, I got this one and um, this one was one of the um, most expensive ones but it is blooming size and I've been looking at this one many times but I, I decided before that this one was a little bit too expensive but ah well I just want to have it so I got it finally and it's a good size bloom I mean it's a good size plant so this one really is blooming size and it's a healthy one, lovely foliage. Yeah, you can see my hand here. So it's a good size plant. The Papiopedalum Philippinensi Robellini. Lovely blooms, as you can see. It's gonna be a nice addition to my collection. But as you can see, I haven't got so many large orchids. So I can surely properly accommodate them all right let's see what we got else here uh it's rnc village chief rose yeah i know i got that one or shall we say i had that one and it was in bloom last summer but yeah i don't even want to say the name of it so Something took it and it's not here anymore. No longer with us, so to speak. So I, well, the only replacement plant that was available was this one, the small one. So this one has got 24 or 12 months or so. I don't know, 80 months perhaps. I better look it up. Um, to blue size. But it looks like a healthy, young, tight, uh, really dense plant. So, but my other one, the blooming size one was quite large and widely spread, yeah. So this one really needs about two years, two more years to, to be able to bloom, but it doesn't matter. I got it and this variety is not so easy to get hold of, I think, uh, but the blooms are so gorgeous. But I couldn't say my, the other one, sorry. But as I got a new treatment for my scale, perhaps I can keep them away at a huge distance in the future. It's going to take some effort, but they're going to be gone, alright? 
There will be. So let's see what we got here. Ah, the uh, Angrecum I was missing out on. Angrecum elephantinum. I thought it was called elephanticum, but elephantinum. And I guess that was just about, or almost about, the last Angrecum I decided to have a complete collection. So, but this one is not blooming size either, so this one is going to have, need to have um, a couple of years to blooming size, so, yeah. It's a small size Angrecum, but I love Angrecum, so it doesn't matter. It's a really, really tiny one. Yeah, yeah. Should do uh, best on amount, I guess, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I put all this toilet paper inside here. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, this is the little guy, so, well, better watch it with my life. Yeah, hmm, so tiny, but it was quite cheap, I think, so it's okay. Something's hiding in here as well. What can it be? So it is getting smaller and smaller for every lap. <laughs> what can it be? Wow, look at this little cute fella. What is it? Ah, it's an orchid that I really, really adore. Podangis dactyloceros. The ugly scale took the other one, but I know that this one is going to be able to bloom next year. It certainly will, and my previous one was sitting in Bark Media in a five, I think five centimeter plastic pot and small grade box, and it was doing terrifically uh, until the scale came along, of course, like usual, and I couldn't save it. But this one is not going anywhere near the scale, so this one is gonna do great. And it can bloom really, really small, uh, small sized. It was a lovely, lovely, um, shall we say transparent, whitish, um, bell shaped or yeah anyway it's a lovely one i love this orchid so but it's not gonna stay on this mount of course I, i'm gonna i'm gonna um i think i'm gonna repart it and transition it into a uh, small grade bark yeah as the other one was doing so great in small grade bark this one shall as well all right and it's also a vendacious type orchid <laughs> Lots of them in this order. Let's see here. Something else. Oh, yeah. The second Angrecum I got in this order. Angrecum aloefolium. Aloefolium, yeah. And it's also a really small one, tiny one. It's, I think I only got two bloom, oh, two or three blooming size orchids in this order. <laughs> I think that's because I don't have any orchids left. <laughs> So after now, at the end of the season, but I just need to have something new. Something positive. Yeah. Ah! On a little mount, and look at this one. It looks a little bit like, um, well, just a little bit like um, the Leonis. Hmm, I wonder how I will be able to accommodate this one. Perhaps with a little mug and perhaps spray it. Hasn't got so many roots, so well, I think it will have to stay on this mount and perhaps in a cup with some lecker beads to the bottom to increase the humidity. And yeah, we shall see what to do with it in my um, report or not report video. Yeah, and Greckum Aloe Folium. Yes, now you're gonna be surprised. This is nothing like me at all. It's um, Cercopsis mariposa three lip. That's an orchid that I wanted for a while. It's always been too expensive for me. All of a sudden, a blooming size one costed about 90, 95 euro. But this one is carrying a flowering spike. It didn't say. It only said that it was blooming size. But it didn't say that it actually had a spike. So, well, let's see if there's anything alive <laughs> left in here after this transport and everything. 
Well, of course I will be sad if it... Oh my god. It really is. Yeah. It's a butt. It's not overbloomed. It's not dead. It's not dried out. Not broken. It's a proper butt. So, I guess we will all see. <laughs> if we're lucky, that is. A few. Psychopsis mariposa, three lips. In bloom. As the sequential bloom rid is. Thank you so much for this water. <laughs> I didn't say that it wasn't Spike. So lovely. Such a gorgeous plant. Look at it. It's a good size one. So, I'm, um, uh, yeah, really pleased and happy. Yay! Now over to the purpose of the order. What I first looked at, it's the um, Rinko Reader's Bangkok Sunset. I think uh, Miss Orchid Girl had this one. Uh, I fell in love and I couldn't find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden when I was checking out uh, Swatch's web shop, as I always do, <laughs> um, I just saw it. And of course I had to have it. 90.95 euro, I think it was. Uh, it's a quite cheap price. It's a good price for this one. Uh, this one is blooming size and best of all. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, pleasant surprise. It's really sitting in bark media. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that. It's going to make it easier for me to take care of it. Yeah. Look at its root system here. It's nice. Green, nice, lovely, alive. Yeah, it's a compact, vendacious type. Orchid. Yeah, look at my hand here. So, this one is also a small one, but it still is blooming size. So, um... Yeah, perfect. So I can place this guy, yeah, basically anywhere I would like to have it. So I don't have to hang it in my window. Yeah, which I planned. <laughs> so this is going to be great. It's going to be better than expected. So yeah, really nice. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to make a follow-up video on this one. My um, unboxing video here. Um, report or not report? That's the question. Well, Coming up next, I guess. So, this is the last orchid, number 13. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like my channel and my video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe. Yeah? I would really appreciate it. Nice to see you. Take care until we see each other next time. Bye-bye, guys.